Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to everybody. That's Patricia Hammond. That's Matt Redman. This is a show called Living Room Requests, and we have an important story for you yes. in a second. Welcome. <laughs> So the important story is that on Friday, on this channel, Patricia Hammond Songs, on this website called YouTube, an amazing thing happened that yielded 36,000 extra views and over 260 subscribers. But we'll tell you about that later. Welcome. So if you're new, we're really pleased to have you. Very pleased. We have this show called Living Room Request. We play whatever songs people request at Patricia Hammond.com forward slash requests, only paying £40 For on money. paper. What are we doing today? We are doing, for David and Sue, we're doing How You Gonna Keep Them Down on the Farm After They've Seen Paris, a song that came out in 1919, very much reacting to mm, all the travel and things that happened in the First World War. For many young men. Yes. I'm going to play this thing called a Joe Jazz. We'll tell you all about that on the banjo. Here we go. Just, uh, what's my cassette here? Oh. Very important. <laughs>
Yikes. So if you thought that was a bunch of awful noise, then we did very well. Because <laughs> in reaction to the popular music before the First World War, um, you know, the Gilded Age, the Edwardian era of the British Empire, the, the new American musical form called jazz or jazz hot music, music for dancing, was, was quite an a awful shock. noise. It was an awful noise. And Walter Donaldson went on to write many hits in the 1920s and 30s of a less brash nature. But you know what they took is like the snares from a snare drum, you know, from a military snare drum. This is an interesting gizmo. <laughs> no, it's tree. true. And they just stuck it to the edge of the banjo just to make more drummy, rattly, hideous noise. Yeah, and singers just, just bellowed because there were no microphones. Um, so we, we have, if you're watching and you've never watched before, it may be because... Um, a chapter in my book, um, which, which is, is called, linked in the description, which is called uh, she, she Wrote the Songs. She did. Um, it, it contains a chapter on Amanda Aldridge, uh, whom I did some quite extensive research on. Wonderful uh, opera singer, teacher and uh, composer who lived in South London and had the most fascinating family uh, history and a very inspirational woman. She taught Paul Robeson um, and, and Marian Anderson and all sorts of people. Um, really, really fascinating woman. And um, the chapter in the book was taken up by uh, Classic FM, did a feature. Uh, and then Which is people, a radio station in the UK. Yeah, but with a really, really strong yeah, social media the presence. Probably biggest classical station. And then um, Google Doodle. Uh, the people responsible for Google Doodle, which is when you go to the Google and uh, it has a particular feature, um, it's biographical. On the homepage of Google. Yeah, isn't it? every day there's a different person. They decided that they wanted to feature her, and they and so people started looking at, at our channel because we 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 were know, linked in the blog when you click on it. It came up first, oh, and because amazing. our video that we'd recorded of a couple of her songs was already on the internet yes. prior to that doodle. Yes. That was fortuitous that they were able to go, well, there you go, there's some people singing it with a few different cameras. Yeah. Um, Not um, very many recordings of her because no. Edwardian music is pretty specialist still. It, and also it's printed in sheet music, you see. Yeah. So, uh, you know, classical singers. Yeah. So Patricia was fortunate to be interested. But anyway, so being on the homepage of Google, like I say, uh, that must be millions of people that saw it. Amazing. But for even 36,000 to click through, um, well, let's say 32,000 to click through the relevant videos and then a few other thousand sporadically across the channel. That was great. Yeah. So Patricia uploaded a special one on Friday. Yeah. Uh, to, Which we'd already done. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. But from a different performance. Because we're always championing these different um, these different composers. Unfortunately, some people clicked on the link thinking that this was footage oh, of Amanda Aldrich herself. And she's like, she's awfully pale. Uh, what? <laughs> But um, yeah, no, it's it's just us doing the, the music. It's just singing her songs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, fun it was too. It was. So nice for a while to put some effort in to make a different video <clears throat> outside. And um, yeah. we were playing with Andrew on the piano. Yeah. And basically, you know, to have some people, you know, uh, we, 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 we received... Discover a new yeah, composer. We received discover, over 200 yeah. comments on those, on those videos on it's Friday. It's magnificent, so yeah. Um, so if you'd like Straight. to support our work, you can do so on Patreon, as people often say at this point. We're you... always researching unusual music and unusual instruments and mm. unusual ways of performing it. Well, And we're going to go outside and historic. make more videos. You know, I like playing plucked string instruments, so so <laughs> often I, yes. I like to play classical works on those because it's still an instrument. It's just, uh, you know, we, you don't have to stick in the repertoire of your instrument. Like if you play the electric guitar, you know, loads of people play Bach on it. It's just it's just an instrument. It's true. You know, it's you can true. do you can do an unaccompanied version of Stravinsky if you want for voice. It doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. So thanks yeah. for supporting us. Yes. Thanks. Welcome. Thanks for coming. If you got this far, please comment on this video if you are new. There's loads uh, more to this channel. There are so many more. Yes, of the put a comment. People. Say hello yeah. if you're new. If you came after seeing Google Doodle and and, yeah, and are looking sure. at us. So really. this was this this song was from. Um, 10 or so years after Amanda Aldridge's song. Yeah. So you can see how much music changed oh, yes. in certain tastes in Britain and the USA. Yeah. Um, and this was a British edition that we had here. Yes. Because it said, how are you going to keep them away from Piccadilly? But we sang we Broadway. We sang Broadway original. because, yeah, yeah, the original. Right, I think that's Thank enough you, talking David for these lovely Sue. people. Thank you. Thank you, David Please and Sue. Please come again. We upload on Thank you. Mondays and Thursdays. Mm, that was for David yeah. and Sue. But there's many other requests for other people. 
The link's in the description, patriciahammond.com forward slash request. You can see a list of all the ones that we've done so far. See you next time. See you. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.